What's going on YouTube? Dorito here. And Luke Scott over here. And today we got ourselves a Tau Motor VIP 150cc scooter. All right. And what had happened was... Like everything else. Uh, yep, took it out for... Went to take it out for a ride as you guys saw. Uh, blah. 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 So what are we going to do today, Luke? Carbonoodle time! Yep. And we're going to show you guys the stages of taking off the carburetor and putting a new one on. It's it, not very difficult. It's not very difficult at all. Tell them what you got to do in the beginning, Luch. Well, first off, we got to take the seat off here. Yep. And uh, it all pulls out. Yeah, it's and all kind of what gets piece. access to the carburetor. Yep. First, it, we need to gain access. Yep, the whole tray will, he'll, he'll pull a few bolts. You'll see later. And the whole tray will lift right out. Yep. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to do it like we've been doing it lately. We're going to get a picture and then do a picture on it. Picture in picture. And Luch will if explain, you it. even though he, in the last video, explained what the carburetor does, he's also going to explain what the fuel pump slash petcock does on the scooter. I'm going to have to study. Yep. So let's get on with it. Shall we? All right, people. This is going to be the easy part. We're going to pull the seat and the whole cowl assembly off, and it's going to be simple. So all we do is raise up the seat, and as you can see, there's a couple 10 millimeter nuts down there on the bottom. And we'll take those off there. And then we got a couple, uh, let's see, what is this, a five? Five millimeter Allen's on there. Dump those in there. And then two up here. This way. Two up there. And then check it out. The whole seat and assembly comes smack up. Which will now expose your carburetor. Yep. All right. So we'll get back to you. We're going to set the camera down there real quick so you have a second camera view of that as well. I like this view the best. Yep. So we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Go for it, Luch. All right. We're all set up here now. We're ready to take this stuff off. This is uh, going to be pretty easy. We just need to follow a few steps and uh, get this going here. Okay. First off, what we probably want to do is uh, let's get the wiring off first. How's that? So we got this uh, wiring loom here. We're going to have to cut two of these little uh, zip ties off. There's one, and then one up here. That way we can get to the electrical connector. And just like that, you're disconnected. Yep. All right. Now that's your, your choke wire there. That's right. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to need forget about that, a 12 millimeter wrench, please. Here's the throttle cable. We'll just slide that right out of there and as soon as my unportly pal gets a 12 millimeter wrench up here we'll do that okay now this is our vacuum line we're going to take that off too we'll take this off right here thank you pull that off there that'll come off with the carburetor then the 12 millimeter will come down here and Loosen up the rest of the throttle. And pull it out. And get it out of our way. All right. All right, all right. Now we're gonna have to take off some- The air filter. Air filter. Easy peasy. I'll help you a little bit. I'll reach on under. Oh, you can't reach under there. No? Can you reach under here? No, yeah, never mind. Just a family channel. So we'll just loosen up that. Here you go. Now, can you get up under there? Absolutely. All, All right. right. People. Hello. Hey, look at that big old hand. Look at that. You see that big old hand? You don't see it. There it is. Down there. Okay, now pull that whole thing just right back with it. There we go. Good enough. Is it? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, just go. like that, and then just kind of, just so it's out of your way, you know, just kind of yep. done. All right. Now you, you can pull the air box itself, but we're just doing this quick. We're trying to make it in under ten minutes, people. Yep. All right. And now we got that. Okay. This this particular carburetor comes equipped with a drain. A, can I say drain cock? Yeah, pet cock. Pet cock. A pet drain cock down here at the bottom. That what? 
Okay. Uh, that you do need to take loose. It is a uh, an eight millimeter uh, socket, and it's connected right here to your uh, powertrain assembly. And you will need to take that off with the carburetor. So we'll just take this off like this and show you guys. It's just a little screw like that. See that? A little screw. Make sure you see it. And then it comes right up here, and it'll come off with the carburetor. Doodle. Now, over here. We have, can I get a rag too? Oh, there's one right there. Oh yeah, rag. Okay, this part right here is the fuel line, people. And if you'll notice, the fuel line does come up here to what? That's right, the fuel, fuel petcock. pump petcock assembly. Yes. Right? So this is supposed to open and close when you get vacuum to it. And the way you get vacuum to it, crank it. That's right, that's right, you're good. You're good. Crank it. So once it starts cranking, it should open up and let fuel flow. So we're going to take that off. I believe that's the right size one. I'm not left-handed. I'm, I'm right-handed, so I can't quite get that off in there. So what I'm going to have to do now is take our screwdriver. Got it. You got it. Oh, uh, look yeah. at you. Now, Thanks, Herc. What you always do want to do as well, too, you want to put a screw or something in there. Just so we'll put that screw back right back in there, just like that, just make, so it doesn't. Make sure no fuel drains out of it. Do not. Stick that up over to the side somewhere out of your way. All right. Now then, what we have left here, that's the vent. What we have left here is the intake. We'll take the intake off. Loosen that up. And then usually you can just give it a little twist and a tug. And it comes right out just like that. How Check it out, people. That. Now, you don't want to turn it over because there might be a little There will be some fuel in there. Left in the car. Especially right since we did try and run it. Yep. So. So, now we just follow the reverse order on our brand new little, what is this? This is a, a KF <laughs> standard from Japan. Right. Now, we want to take that off. Don't try and take... Don't try and put that together and then put your air filter on it. It won't run. No, no, no. Okay. So, now then, we got this whole piece here. Oh, what? Careful, oh. don't hit the camera. Though. Sorry about that other camera in camera. Okay. So, now, let's see. This one, let me see that one. Okay, we take this portion off here. See, because we only need this vacuum line. So, we'll go ahead and remove this piece. Stick that back up in there just in case for later. Future reference. In case I get it home and need it again. There you go. <laughs> and then, okay. So, now what you want to do, we can take this out of our way. Look, it's got a nifty little uh, routing point right there for your line here. And you can just run it right down through there and attach it down on the bottom when you get ready. But now you just got to put this part back. Kind of wiggle it back in there. And make sure your little... You might want to get your choke line out of the way first. You your little tab does line up people it does need to line up it's very important yep okay and also make sure too that that line for the drain is not restricted or pinching or pinching into anything because you might end up with the line draining because the petcock valve to drain the fuel line is on the bottom as opposed to at the bowl with some other carburetors okay so ask him how he knows i learned it the hard way okay so we've got that mounted now we're mounted Okay, so this part is Gotta done. Re repeat the same order. In reverse. So we'll go ahead and come down here to... No. That's holding on the drain line. You're going to take this. Yeah, we're going to do the fuel line first so we can get this bolt back. Okay, so we probably should have done that while I was up. But that's okay. We'll stick the fuel line on there and slide the clamp over into place. I don't know if you saw that, but I stuck the fuel line on there and I slid the clamp over into place. Very good. Very good. Very good. I know that guy. Yep. I went to school with him. Yep. Okay. Then after that, you're going to do the air filter. Yes. You want me to help you there again, guy? Guy? Yeah. My name's Looch. Looch guy? Can you handle that? No, not much. You want me to get in there again, buddy? You got it yourself. Can you handle it? Well, I don't know if I can handle it, but maybe you can handle it for me. Oh. That was scary. Here you Light and camera bumped into it. <laughs> All right, come back. Okay. 
And this will go in here. And then you want to just tighten it up in reverse of the way you loosened it. The way you loosened it. The way you loosened it. Okay, now that's tight. We can... Uh, Next your other vacuum line. Come back over here. Now that is a very important vacuum line because that also runs the what? The uh, choke, the uh, fuel pump and petcock assembly. Yes. Okay, so we'll hook up the vacuum line down here. Okay, there goes that. Now that's the thing is they did, they put that drain line down there, which is very smart because when you do store it, all you have to do is drain the fuel from there because it is a vacuum assisted petcock. So no more fuel is gonna come down from that point once you drain, drain the bowl, unless you go to start it up again. Okay. This is very nice. Yes, very important. Okay. Now you stick that little other end back in there to where it's facing downward and tighten that up to only about uh, maybe 10 luchin meters. Okay. And then you plug in the CDI and we're pretty much done. Okay. And now we take our... Our plug in the, I'm sorry, the electronic choke. Electric choke. Isn't that a Judas Priest song? Electric choke? Electric choke? No, isn't that an old, old school, like, hip hop dance song? Oh, the electric choke. Yeah, the electric choke. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Old school hip hop song. Yeah. Electric okay. choke. Now you stick that piece right in here. See how that goes? Grab a couple zip ties. Oh, we got zip ties? Yeah, well, we do. Oh, man, we're awesome, aren't we? Would you rather have Velcro, sir? Sure. Ooh. Oh, man. Give you a couple strips of Velcro. Don't tease me with a good time. Don't threaten me with a good time. Okay, now we plug this back in here. Is that a long enough strip of Velcro, sir? Yeah. One or two? Two, please. Then we'll take... There's one. Thank you. <laughs> Same length? Yeah. Now, we're using the Velcro because it's easy to get off and put back on. You know, you can use a zip tie. But if you want to spend the money and get a little roll of that double-sided Velcro, it works out really good for a lot of different things besides just using it as a zip tie. Would you agree, Luch? I love zip ties. So anyways, we're going to finish tying this up. And as you guys see, everything's on there. And you have a uh, carburetor removal and replacement in under 10 minutes. So we'll get right back to you guys, okay? Okay. We're back and there you have it tell what you had to do luke well you saw what we did on the video uh i i do want to tell you though i didn't show you how to hook up the uh the throttle linkage at the end but just remember everything is reverse putting it together as you took it apart yep. so now that we've got everything yep. together you may need to adjust the throttle a little bit to, to your liking to your liking there and your idle as well but, okay so what, now, he, what he did do is he removed the carburetor by disconnecting the air filter line, disconnecting the fuel line, disconnecting the vacuum, vacuum line, line, and disconnecting the electric choke as well. And he also explained how the electric fuel pump and fuel, uh, pitcock works, or not electric, vacuum assisted. I had to go back to school for that. Yep. So anyways, he's going to start it up and we'll get right back to you guys. We did already take it for we'll a test drive. Now? He's going to start it right up. Right now? Yes. And we did take it for a test drive and we'll show it to you guys afterwards. So go ahead and fire it up. Fires right up. Fires right up. There is throttle response. So we're gonna go ahead and shut it off. Beautiful. And anyways, you guys will see how it runs down the road. We'll show you a little clip at the end. That's how you remove and install your carburetor in less than ten minutes. Yep. So I want to thank you guys for watching Luch Model Garage. Don't don't forget to come back to Dorito and the Luch Cabin. Peace. Rock on. Thanks for thanks for watching.
Don't forget to, to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.